they still have no solid leads in the case of the audacious bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperial, as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery, in which armed thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of death, was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, Despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. If he's unable to secure justice for those slain that day, and due to the violence meted out, it must only be a matter of time before the G-Men take over. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest musical numbers. This is 570 AM, Lost Heaven Radio. Thank you for listening. <clears throat> this neighborhood is going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Hey, hey, you heard a ruckus last night? Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. Ali! God, Jesus. Ali. Slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh God, I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ, I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri, he found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta uh, disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that.
I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. developments in Europe. With the annexation of Austria, and with many predicting that Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland will be next, Adolf Hitler has shown Europe that he is now calling the shots. Despite the restrictions placed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, neither France nor Great Britain have done much to stand in Hitler's way up to this point. It had been hoped that the policy of appeasement toward his territorial ambitions would create a more prolonged peace in Europe, but it seems increasingly likely that this course of action will result in new conflict. Should Europe once again descend into the chaos of war, what stance should the United States take? Many would still say European problems are European problems. But the deteriorating situation and the worrying possible outcomes for the world now seem difficult for us to ignore. Isolation versus intervention. That is the choice facing America. <coughs> Which we will decide will be known in... Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam. But I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Apollis. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. Sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Where'd you go? 
go, Sim. Business is business, Tom. I know that you had a ball of you know that. No more of your friends have to die today, Tom. No one but you. Put him to sleep! I'll miss our thugs back at the bar. I won't. Self-righteous fuck. When you fuck with the boss, you fuck with us all.
Sam. I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you doubt the same. He's just getting serious, boys. Take him out. Running out of guys yet!
lucky shot, Tom. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys! Hey! some more time. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> For the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri... He sent out a crew. And his family? that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me? You and Polly with you.
I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife, four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll have